this is going to sound completely crazy to some people, but I am praying that this reaches the ones that get it. On Friday, I decided to fast. I felt called to do it in the morning. I wasn't planning on it the day before or anything like that. I just felt like I needed clarity. I needed clarity on what to focus on in my business, in my career, in my future. I've been going through a lot of shifts recently and this year has been a year, but I went to my happy place, just asked God, I was like, God, what do you want me to focus on? Because I feel like I, I have this chronic tendency of putting too many eggs in too many baskets. When I get excited about ideas and implementing new things, I just, I spread myself way too thin and I've been doing that, especially with social media for a while. I used to have a very popular TikTok account back in 2020 and 2021. I had a really big traumatic life event happen and I lost a lot of momentum. I stopped posting. I didn't have the creative energy. I was in a depression and just really couldn't get out of it for a while. And then I became a registered dietitian. I started seeing clients. I built up my private practice and things have been going great. I just got to a point where I wasn't feeling at peace with a lot of the decision, decisions I was making. And so I started to read my Bible more. I started to pray more, started showing up at church again after years and years of avoiding it. And I got baptized in September and I have been just really enjoying my spiritual growth since then. That is a little bit of context as to why I'm, I'm fasting for 24 hours. I wanted to do it because I know that I hear God better when I do. And I think he is very clear when he tells me to. And when I listen, I get really great breakthroughs. So I decided to do this fast I was at the park, I asked, what do you want me to focus on? I didn't get my answer right away, but Isaiah chapter five popped into my head. I started reading it, I started looking up some commentary on it because I can read it and maybe 25% understand it and then I need to look up commentary, I need to look up a sermon, something to further help enhance my knowledge. So this is what I read. I will sing for the one I love a song about his vineyard. My loved one had a vineyard on a fertile hillside. He dug it up and cleared it of stones and planted it with the choicest vines. He built a watchtower in it and cut out a wine press as well. Then he looked for a crop of good grapes, but it only yielded bad fruit. So this parable goes on to explain this vineyard that it had all of the advantages in the world. Um, it had fertile ground. It belonged to a loving person. It was protected. Yet, instead of bearing good fruit or no fruit at all, it bore bad fruit. And I was like, dang, that's kind of harsh. When I look inwardly and really reflect on my decisions this year, I really didn't do anybody any good by the decisions I made. And this is apart from everything I do with my nutrition work and I'm speaking solely to some choices I made with social media. I, I feel like after reading that, I was able to reflect on the fact that God has given me specific gifts, specific tools, knowledge and wisdom to be able to share with others and I haven't been doing that. Um, and I've been shying away from those things because of ease and convenience and money, all things that are not going to serve others the way that they deserve and the way that I feel truly called to serve. I read that and then I didn't get like some magic revelation on what I needed to focus on until later that evening when I 
went to this co-working space I usually hang out at. I was on the rooftop, just like staring out at the skyline. And then all of a sudden, it was like this full body understanding of what I needed to do next and what my next steps were. And that's really cool because sometimes when I hear God, it'll be like that silent whisper in your mind. And we can talk all about that later um, on how I hear God and what that means because hearing Christians say, oh, I had this conversation with God, I never really understood what that meant. I assumed it was like some really deep voice saying thou shalt not steal and just like reciting commandments or Bible verses uh, when that's not always the case. So, <laughs> in fact, I've never heard a voice like that, <laughs> but who knows, there's always time. Instead of like a sentence being said to me in my mind, I just had that knowing and signs from the past two weeks or so had just like started coming into my mind all at once of like, oh, that light bulb moment of when you have a really, really good idea, but it wasn't my idea because I did not go into Friday with this even in my mind at all. I had some ideas of like, maybe God will give me clarity on this aspect of my business or this part of my business or, or my purpose, uh, but that didn't, happen it was something completely out of left field and that was okay I need to get back on YouTube so a little context whether you used to watch my videos if you're vaguely familiar of who I am or if you're just now coming across this for the first time I got on YouTube back in 2020 because I got popular on TikTok and I got on YouTube because people were asking me to review fitness influencers because back then I was a personal trainer and I would make silly review videos of very famous fitness influencers like Chloe Ting, Alexis Wren, and the like. And I did it for a while and I got good views. Uh, then I made some viral-ish video about how I grew my boobs from an A cup to a C cup with diet and exercise. Uh, it's almost a million views, which is crazy to me. And I did a lot of that stuff, yes, to help people. That was always a big part of it, but it was also to make a name for myself, naturally. Like, why does anyone get on social media, you know? I always had a very selfish aspect of being online and a lot of the things, a lot of the choices I made being online, I did for me and to exalt myself in a way. And at the end of the day, I was really not passionate about making money off of the backs of fitness influencers. So I stopped. And then I'm like, well, how am I gonna pivot my YouTube? Cause I don't know what I wanna do on here. And it just felt very unclear for a very long time. So I just stopped. I stopped posting altogether. I've posted some shorts. Uh, which are just repurposed Instagram reels and TikToks. Um, I really have had a hard time getting back into short form content because that's not where my heart is at. And if I really think about it, yes, I knew I wanted to be a dietitian since I was like 16, 17 years old, but I wanted to be a YouTuber since I was eight. Like. YouTube came around in 2007. I started watching YouTube back then. I was seven when it came out. And I just remember watching my favorite creators and feeling like I was a part of their world and just finding a home. I watched YouTube way more than I watched TV. I felt like I had a sense of belonging in a way uh, through watching others share their stories and make funny skits and parodies and all that. So now I'm like, geez, is God really calling me to pursue my deepest childhood passion? That's scary. That's a lot of pressure, right? <laughs> At the end of the day, the message that I want to share with people can only be done through long form sit down content like this and so uh, this is a little announcement that i am getting back 
on YouTube. I'm putting all my focus here. It feels so freeing to not start my day thinking about how I'm going to put together an Instagram reel or a TikTok. Like, I don't know why I just really never, my soul was never in it. But I always believed that I had some important things to say online. And that's of course why I started to begin with. And now God is just calling me to rewrite the script the way he intends on it being done, not the way that I thought it was meant to be done. I want my channel to have a deeper meaning than what it had in the past. So going forward, this channel is dedicated to all things women's health and healing. We are going to talk about the body. We'll talk about the mind and we will talk about the spirit too, because that is the biggest component that has helped me heal through so much, so much. I would be doing you a disservice not to share what I know. We're gonna kick things off. I'm gonna be posting quite frequently and I'm just, I'm so excited. So if you are a returning subscriber, definitely let me know. If you are brand new, let me know too. Subscribe to the channel. This feels so weird to say because I haven't been on here in so long. So even just saying the word subscribe, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is really happening. A part of me is like, okay, this could be a total bust. Like this could like not get, go anywhere. Like I could put all this effort into making content here and sharing everything I know and then nobody will see it or like very few people will see it. But I don't know. I just have unwavering faith that if it's from God, it will be. So yeah, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, weekend, night, whenever you're watching this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.